Hi and welcome to Esky's World. Oh shoot, just spilt my drink. Um, welcome to Esky's World. This video, um, where can I stand that? Just there. In this video, we're going to go through all my nail varnish and nail varnish products. Um, just to see what I've got because I've got this box and as you can see it is full to the brim and as I belong to um, the nail box uh, monthly subscription box I'm going to need a bigger box so I've got a bigger box so I'm going to be transferring oh it's spilt again I'm going to be transferring everything from this box into this box so I thought as I do that we can do a little video of what I've got to see if it's any interest I don't know if it would be to any interest to anyone other than me but hey there you go anyway today first thing to go in there today I got these nail varnish um, nail varnishes nail files from the pound shop so let's rip open the packet and chuck them in because I don't know what it is I I seem to buy hundreds and thousands of nail files but whenever I want one can I find one can I egg? there you go you can have the wrapping right and then we got these nail art things that I bought the other day um which i've already shown you these nail strip stickers that i got in one of my boxes these nail i did buy some more awesome these nail varnish removing pads i think these are awesome i i've been using these for god knows how many years but these are the best um, then this nail file that I got in um, my nail monthly box but as you can see it is quite worn and not much left on it oh, my back has just gone and then there's this which is I can take this out of the box now don't really need it I got it it's from Claire's accessories and this is uh, I can open it this is the little balls um, that you put on top of tacky nail varnish and then you know a top coat on top of that to hold it to give it um, that sort of effect can you see that in the picture um, yeah so that can go in there and that's a little funnel so you can pour what you haven't used back into the bottle put that put that in there just to remind me of the instructions because you know my mind will go blank when i come to use it and oh, this that i got off ebay which is quite good you put it on your hand like this that you're painting and then you put whatever nail varnish you're using in there to hold the bottle now I think this is quite a genius little thing so I have used it a couple of times oh. some makeup sponges which I just use for different nail art things sorry I've got to move because my back is killing me let's see if I can shove that there shove that uh, there uh, there we go there's a no not better oh yes my ridiculous sample of just two stickers for this which I think is an absolute stupid amount to give you um to try something out you want more than two because you're not going to get the full effect of it from two but hey ho there you go and there's this nail balm which i'm going to leave out because i'm going to put it on my nails once i've done this um and there's 
this nail varnish which I got out of you know my monthly subscription box I think this is actually can be thrown away um, it was just this solution that I had um, and it was from Avon and it was quick dry thing you basically just put a little drop on each nail and apparently it made your nails dry quicker Whether it really did or not I don't know um, then another dotter nail art thing that I got was something else right let's get on to the nail varnish I don't know where all they've oh what's this um oh it's just um if your nails are breaking or brittle then you know you just put a coat of this on and apparently it strengthens your nails um And then I bought a load of these off eBay at one time. Bad buy. Um, but some of the nail varnishes are still okay. And then you screw it back on. And then the other end, you're supposed to <laughs> be able to squeeze it out and then write and do patterns with it. But uh, it's don't buy it. If you ever come across it, don't buy it. It's absolute shite not worth it it works fine as a normal nail varnish but for the other thing no it doesn't work don't buy it so still got quite a few of these um i've got this dark blue light blue pink this sort of burgundy color red telling me this light green this light blue this light pink this other pink Oh, my back. This pink. Uh, this sort of ready orange. Uh, this purple. This blue. This red glitter. Actually, is that any good? Because. Ugh. No, that's no good. So that can go in the bin. Actually, let's get all these back out and just check them because if not, there's no point in me keeping them and taking up room and they can just be thrown away because they're no good. Ugh. So let's have a look at this one. No, that one's okay. Ugh. I guess that one's okay. So, yeah. If I was to do it neatly. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just dry stuff off the side of the bottle. We'll leave that there. St Ugh. Okay. Oh, my back is killing me and I don't know why. Oh. Excuse me, I've got to have a little sip. Yes. And it was thanks to my awesome friend um, for taking me into town and bringing me back again that I was able to get another box. So I was able to do this switch over. So yes, that was pretty awesome. And I've got Jensen a new toy. Hey! What are you playing with? Oh, okay. Good boy. Carry on. You're a good boy. You carry on. Eat. Sorry. As you know, Jensen, he's a fairly loud dog sometimes. And he had just been quiet for too long. And me not knowing what he was doing. So, I was like, 
What are you doing? What are you chomping on? And it's actually the bone I bought in from the butchers yesterday, so it is perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. He's being a good, awesome boy as always, aren't you, Jensen? Yeah. So today, the great British weather, me and Jensen have got soaked three times today. Three, no, about four times. Coming back from the park this morning and then going out to the shop stroke post office. We got soaked on the way there. Then going back home from the shop stroke post office. We got soaked coming home. <sighs> then we went to another park and we got soaked there again a couple of times. And you know... Now, now it's sunny and windy and, oh, I just give up with this weather. Like yesterday, it was raining all day. Oh, my face went all day. And then as soon, you know, and got soaked, taking him out for a walk with a couple of his friends and one of my friends, and got soaked. And then, you know, like, come, like, uh, like, time for like bed and everything and it's lovely out there and it's like oh for goodness sake <sighs> just can't win oh sorry this is taking me longer than i thought uh see i have an idea and then I have another idea, and then I have to do that idea. Uh, I just, I find it very hard to stay on one train of thought. Mind you, I've done pretty well checking these out. Mind you, the rest shouldn't be too long there. Um, then I've got... This now varnish, it's a black one. I don't even know where I got this from. It's so old. Ugh. And then I got this one. I think this one can go in the bin. I mean, look at that. That's just disgusting. Ugh. Actually, no. Once it's had a good shake... Uh. Actually, you know that is a good one now varnish once it's had a good shake so we'll be keeping that and then there's this Rimmel one I really love this shade it's one of my favourite nail varnishes and I got these two out of um, subscription boxes I think I got one from my nail box one and one from uh, You Beauty or Birch Box. You know, there's just so many boxes. And I got this one from Birch Box. No, the nail box one. It's not a gel nail, but it's gel effect. Um. I love this colour. I got this from my nail box one as well. And this one. I'm actually really loving the colours that I've got from... Oh, I've shake my face. I'm shaking a nail varnish to see what it... Ah! There we go. I'm not actually sure if that's the colour it was. No, that's quite nice. I'm not sure if it's meant to be that colour or not, but it's another Avon one. But I actually quite like that colour it's turned into. So, you know, all's good. And this is another uh, Avon one. I've got a lot of stuff from Avon over the years. Love that colour. Right, actually, I love them all because, you know what, I wouldn't have them if I didn't. Another red glittery nail varnish one. 
this is like um, a gold, it's like a clear gold glitter top coat. It's awesome. I love this nail brush. And you can see how much it's gone down, how much I use it. Yes. So, there you go. That's from Avon as well. Oh, love these. These are, you paint your nails as normal and then you will give this like a liberal coat on the top and then you leave it to dry and as it dries it cracks like this pattern on the lid um, and just leaves your nails with that effect so love them I've got a few of them I've got um, the pink I've got the black I've got red this is an OPI um, one, but it's still the, it's a different make. This is now, hmm, this is Barry M and this is OPI, but they're all still cracking ones. This is OPI, this is a purple cracking one. Um, yeah, there you go. This is a green glitter cracking one. one I was looking for and this is a white cracking one I never can seem to find that one and this is just a clear top coat or base coat whatever makes you fancy but this is really awesome stuff um, you coat it around the edge of your nails so you know if you not got quite a steady hand or a hand tram tremor like I have sometimes you paint it round so if your hand twitches too much and goes over the side it doesn't matter because it just goes on that and then you just peel it all off when you're finished so yeah that's awesome and yeah oh there we go And this is now something or other and something or other elegant touch and it's a nail growth serum yeah I don't think it works that well <sighs> see if this is any good yeah that's Fine. and I've got the green one here it's just that one again I don't know where I've got these from it's obviously in a pack of some sort because I've got a few of them yeah. a yellow one Yeah, that's no good. Check out these two. Yeah, that's no good. Ugh, that's no good either. Oh, I think it helps having you guys with me. It's making me strong to be able to throw these things away because otherwise I don't think I would. And this is another growth potion, but I think I'm probably going to throw this away because I think that's just about had its day and it looks pretty fucked, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, I was wrong. This is just a white nail varnish um, that I got in my nail box called Angelic. And this is the cool stuff you paint around the edge of your nails to stop you making a mess. So, there you go. <sighs> and then there's more. 
<laughs> See, I've got my subscribe to Esky's World t-shirt on today. I wore it up down. Doubt that anybody really noticed because no one really looks at me. And then you've got a lemon fortifying, um, probably some sort of growth serum or uh, something to strengthen nails. And let's see, what should we do next? Let's finish with these Avon. Um, ah, yes, I love these. You paint your nails and they paint paint and let's see let's just do a finger to show you because see you paint your nails oh see now I could have done with some of that stuff around the edges but I was only doing it quickly and not properly so you paint your nail and it's all shiny and you wait for it to dry wait for it to dry And then once it's dry, see, it loses its shine and it has a matte finish. And I actually really love that. And excuse the state of me painting that on, but I just did that really quick to show you the effects of the nail varnish. And then there's another matte one, which is dark blue. Oh yes, this is meant to be purple, but it comes out dark blue anyway. And this is inky, yeah, remembered rightly. Um, should. Have I already put it through? No. I thought I had a red matte one as well, unless that was it. No. Oh, there we go. No, it's not. Haha. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's another one. Um, this is black and it dries and it looks like a blackboard because it's matte and it's awesome. Love it. Um, those matte nail varnishes are all Avon as well. Oh, I don't bet. What is this one? This is just a very dark blue normal nail varnish. Um, this is sort of a, I don't know, a shiny blue, sort of a bluey silvery shine, that's Avon, all these square bottles are Avon, then there's this one, this one is like red with gold glitter in, it's lush, oh my back is killing me, my back is killing me. And then there's this bluey purple one with sort of gold silvery glitter in. It's awesome as well. Ugh, no crack. Uh, then there's this one by Avon. This lush pink one by Avon. And just this plain top base coat, top or base coat by Avon. Um, I think that might be it for Avon. I thought I had a red matte one. I must have lost it. Oh well, so do we. So what happens? Oh, there's another Avon one. And this is just like a coral. I think this is actually one of my first, the first ones that I got. Uh, oh! Mmm, there's one of these missing as well. I think. And this is a cool magnetic one. Um, you paint your nails. Um, and then you paint your nails with this. Then you hold this with the ridge on the edge of your nail there and you just hold it over 
and then because this has got magnet, mag, a magnet here, it pulls up all the metal bits in the nail varnish and then it creates waves like that on your nails. So that's awesome. Oh. I did have another one of those, but I seem to have mislaid that as well. <clears throat> then there's this gel effect nail varnish. It's not a gel. It's not a gel nail varnish. Just a gel effect. This Maybelline nail varnish, is that 40 seconds? Yeah, 40 seconds. Um, apparently drying nail varnish. Can't remember from when I last used it. Then I've got uh, more of these balls, you know, to go on top, like I said, with one of the first things I transferred over to that ball. Um, just an old makeup sponge from doing nail art. <sighs> this was a nail varnish I got with those balls as an undercoat, but you can use any nail varnish. Yeah, no. Then these three nail varnishes, I got these with that pink um, polka dot at all. Um, they all came in a pack together. <clears throat> um, then this gel like nail varnish, but it's not a gel polish, just gel effect. And then this light pink Barry M. And then this is he um haunted in the heat nail varnish I've got this in one of my nail box um and then this OPI lacquer sort of an orangey colour This one that I got out of a nail, my nail monthly box, which is Nail Sync Gel Effect. This one that I got out of my nail box uh, monthly subscription, which is that one. I think I got this one from a charity shop. Or maybe a pound shop on clearance for 50p. I mean, 50p, you can't complain, can you? <laughs> so, yeah. 50p, you have to buy it, really. And then I've got this SA um, Glitter Nail Varnish, which I use a tremendous a lot. Um, I love it, and I use this quite a lot as a top coat. Um, on top of other nail varnishes to give it a bit of sparkle The same with this one you can see by how much has actually gone out of the bottle I use this as a top coat a lot over a lot of nail varnishes to give it a bit of added extra sparkle And then this is just a Color trend nail varnish and so is this a colour trend nail varnish? I probably got them in a pack or something that I can't remember what it was now. <sighs> then there's this. Uh, this is from George. A quick, uh, just a silver nail varnish. But I think I use this as a top coat uh, sometimes as well because it does dry quite clear. It's quite a thin, you know, sort of colour. And then the rest are Rimmel and you've got this gorgeous orange colour which I love obviously and then there's this 
oh Glastonbury, uh, you know Glastonbury, Glastonbury colour. So that's cool. Then there's this greeny grey one, which I like. What I love, I love them all. Uh, then this sort of bluey, silvery, silver one. This uh, very light pink one. This very light blue one. This blue silver one, which is sweet cr crush blueberry whiz. And then. This one, which is a sweet crush, something fizz appalicious. So there you go. And then finally, letters um, from someone that I thought was a friend and turned out to be the most two faced. Bearing in mind, these letters were wrote when they were in prison to me, um, and they turned out to be someone I thought they weren't. Should have really listened to the alarm bells going off by the fact uh, that they went into prison whilst knowing them. But hey ho, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I obviously shouldn't. But hey ho, there you go. So there you go, that's all my nail products, now in uh, the new box, wonder how long it'll be till I fill this one up, uh, let's see, can I get that to the right spot again, uh, there we go, so yes, oh my god, this video is like 32 minutes long. So, with that, I guess I better go put a lid on it, ha, and, you know, uh, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it, and, you know, if you have, then give me a thumbs up, and also, if you haven't already, and... You know, can you hit the button down below and subscribe? Because I would find that most awesome and I'll be so grateful. Um, yes, and remember, you are all awesome. I love you all so, so much and be awesome to each other. Have an awesome day, everyone.